So I have recently made some networking videos and I saw in the comments below that people were asking, what is a mesh Wi-Fi system? What are the benefits of it? Do I need it? Should I invest in it? So I thought I would make this video today talking about what mesh Wi-Fi brings to the table and if it's the right solution for you. So to get started, the first question is, what is mesh Wi-Fi? So a typical Wi-Fi router in your house would be a single unit that plugs into your modem, or it might actually be built into your modem like I have here with AT&T. That router then broadcasts a signal out for your devices to connect through wirelessly. The unfortunate issue with this setup is that the signal strength and speed diminish with distance and obstacles. In a home, that would be your walls that come between your device and that router. Now with a mesh system, you'll have two or more devices connected together all broadcasting out the same signal, essentially blanketing your space with Wi-Fi goodness. One device is going to act as your main router and plug directly into your modem. And the other device or devices are called satellites, which you're gonna place around your house, extending your coverage and boosting the speed. These satellites connect wirelessly to the main router, or for a better performance, some mesh systems come with a feature called a backhaul, letting you plug in an ethernet cable into the back of the satellite, which is gonna help boost its performance. Now, for example, as you walk through your house, your phone is going to seamlessly connect to the satellite that it is closest to, giving it its best performance. A mesh system is really gonna help expand that faster five gigahertz signal that has a shorter range than the 2.4. Another benefit to a mesh Wi-Fi system is how easy it is to set up. For the example here with TP-Link Deco, I'm gonna download the Deco app and create an account. I'm going to plug one of those devices into the modem, which is going to set it as my main router. I'm gonna follow the prompts in the app, which is going to ask me to create a network name and password. And once that's done, I'm going to plug in the other satellites, which are automatically going to connect to that main router. And that's it, you're done. Now, some of the app features that we're getting specifically with the TP-Link that we're using in this demo is we're gonna get things like guest Wi-Fi. We can see what devices are connected to the network, which hubs they're connected to, their signal strength. We can give them custom names if we wanna do that. We also have additional features like artificial intelligence to help optimize network traffic for better speed. QoS or quality of service for boosted device performance. We've got stuff like IP reservations, port forwarding, different things like that. Okay, so what are we looking for when we're buying a mesh Wi-Fi system? Well, first of all, you're gonna wanna look at Wi-Fi technology. Now, it used to be that it would be called like 802.11n, 802.11ax or AC, one of those. They have fortunately renamed these to Wi-Fi 5, Wi-Fi 6, 6E, and now even just today, this morning, TP-Link announced Wi-Fi 7. So it's brand new technology. It's not even coming out until next year but just know that is on the horizon. Now, nothing is even compatible with Wi-Fi 7 yet, but it's there, just so you know. So the current Wi-Fi standard right now, I would say is kind of going out of Wi-Fi 5 into Wi-Fi 6. If you're looking at a mesh system, I would look for something that's at least Wi-Fi 6, if not Wi-Fi 6E. Now, a lot of devices, even right now, don't support Wi-Fi 6E, but it's good to have to future-proof your purchase. The next thing I would look at is speed. You wanna know how fast your router or your mesh system is going to be able to transfer speed. So definitely look at that. There's going to be different speeds for different systems out there. If we take a look at this one right here, this is an AX1800. That means it's going to have transfer speeds of up to 1.8 gigs in speed. If we take a look at this guy right here, this is an AX6000. That means it is going to have up to six gigs of transfer speed. So make sure you're keeping that in mind when you're making your purchase. The next thing that I would look at is coverage. You wanna make sure you get enough coverage to cover all of the areas of your house. You don't want any dead spots. However, if you do have some dead spots, you can always add on an additional satellite to boost your signal. So make sure you're getting enough coverage that's not only going to include your house, but maybe your front yard and your backyard too. Another thing that I would consider when looking for a mesh Wi-Fi system is how many devices does it support. If you are not deep in the smart home technology and you don't have a ton of devices connecting, then it may not be that big of a deal for you. But if we take a look at this one right here from TP-Link, this one is going to allow up to 200 devices to connect to this mesh system. Now, lastly, some features that I would look for when purchasing a mesh system is you want something that probably has M-U-M-I-M-O, which stands for multiple in, multiple out, essentially meaning that it can communicate and work with a bunch of different devices at the same time. Another feature that I really like is a backhaul. So if you do have the option 
of plugging your satellites into an ethernet port, a backhaul is definitely going to be something you wanna look into. In fact, I just did a video talking about how you can use maybe some old coax cable that you were using for your cable modem to convert that into ethernet cable to set up a backhaul. So go ahead and check that one out up in the top corner. And then lastly, I would just make sure your system has a guest network. It's always nice to have your guests on a separate VLAN than what you are running all of your stuff on. And that is just something that I would look at when picking up a system. So should you get a mesh system? Well, I'd say that if you don't have a lot of devices connecting to your network and maybe don't really have any dead spots, then a mesh network probably isn't right for you. But if you're like me and you have a ton of devices spread all around your house, all connecting to your network, things like phones, tablets, streaming sticks, smart devices, even security cameras, then a mesh system is probably worth investing into. Now, I will have links below in the description of some of the systems that I recommend. Well, I hope that explained mesh Wi-Fi systems a little more for you. Now, I am curious, are you going to invest in a Wi-Fi system? Are you gonna stick with what you got? Or do you already have a mesh system that you are happy with? Let me know in the comments below. I always love hearing from you guys. If you have made it this far in the video, thank you guys for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you like it. If you guys wanna see more networking videos, check out the playlist over here. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you in the next video.